strong. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kim and I'm a personal trainer bringing you hit style workouts that you can do in your own home. Today's workout is part of our fitness challenge, so if you're following along with that, today you get 30 points. If you don't know what that is and you're interested, head on down to the description. I've put a link there for you. You are going to need a set of hand weights for today's workout because we are doing cardio back and arms. So we're sculpting that back and toning up those arms. Go ahead, get yourself set up, grab some water, and let's get started. You guys ready to work? We're gonna start with a warm up. So I'm just gonna start by pushing my hips to the side wall, rocking my weight. So I lift up on the toe, push the heel down and back. Just rock it side to side. Don't worry what you look like, nobody's around, hopefully. Four more, and three, two, Last one, inhale those arms all the way up to the ceiling. We're gonna hinge it forward, nice straight back, and reach it up. Again, let's do that. So we're stretching out through the back of the thighs and into our calves, all the way forward, reach, 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 and up last time, big breath. Good, bring the arms down and let's march it out. So today's workout, we're gonna start with cardio, then we're gonna go through three sets of strength for the back and the arms, we're gonna finish up with some cardio. So we wanna get nice and warm. Let's just take those arms forward and back. Walking it out here. Good, step in touch, bend those knees. Reach the arm across. Get nice and long, right to the side of the body. Good job. Keep that belly button pulled in. We want to stay nice and strong through that spine, through the whole workout. Keep that core tight. Four more. And three, two, one. We're going to bring the arm across and pivot up onto our toe. Take those hips to the side wall or my side wall. I don't know what you have there. Reach it. Last four. Two. And one, jog it out or march. So if you want to see low impact today, that's fine. You can even skip the cardio. So I put it at the front and the back of this workout. If you prefer to just do strength, skip the first set, skip the last. We're gonna stay here another 20 seconds, trying to get that heart rate up and get the blood moving through the body. Four. Three, two, one. Take those feet down. We're going to squat back. Push your hips forward. Drive that tailbone behind you. Watch those knees are going past your toes. Four and three. One. Good. Arms forward, back. We really want to open up that back. So big. Stretch forward and open up the chest. Nice work. Come on. Four and three. Two. That should feel good. One more. Good. Stick with one arm. Loosening up those shoulder joints. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Other side. Big circles. Good. Last three, two, and one. I want you to from here. We're gonna take it with our knees slightly bent. Forward, bring our hands to your toes. Squeeze it up, squeeze those glutes. So we're doing a dead lift with no weights. Just warming up that spine. Good, now if you need to do deadlifts with bent knees, that's fine. So if your flexibility isn't there in your hamstrings, you can do a bent knee deadlift, but you're pushing through the hips and driving through the glutes. So you don't want to be using your chest or your back here, using the lower back. Two more. Last one. Good. Hinge it forward. 
bring those arms so like you're hugging a barrel. So we're just warming up those muscles we're gonna be using. So we're doing a reverse fly here. Nice. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Four. Three. Two. Last one with the arms down under your hands. So the wrists are pointing up. We squeeze in. Release. Squeeze. Working those lats in this warm up. And three, two, one bicep curl for eight, seven, six, three, two, one. Shake it out. We're going to start with our cardio circuit for a minute. We'll work 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. We're going to start with this skip. Okay, so if you're going low impact, you're just marching. Choose the option that's right for you today. Here we go. Grab that skip row. And then let's go. 45 seconds. Make sure you use those arms. We want to work the arms today. Let's go. Take a breather. We've got burpees next. So you can either go low impact burpee, hands down, walk it out, and up, or hands down, and bring it up. We're not going to do a jump today. Here we go. Feet out, stand, squeeze your glutes. Grab some water if you need to. 
And then we're going into our first weight circuit. We're starting with deadlifts. So just like in our warm up, we're gonna come down, bent knees to start, grab those weights, and you can either have bent knees, hips forward. I want you to really focus on that hinge of the hip, pushing forward. Okay, you can have slightly straight legs. Here we go, let's work. 45 seconds. Keep that back straight. Pull your belly button in. Driving through those hips. Triceps. 
Back of the arms. Squeeze, hold. Really work at the top there. Down. Yeah, I'm gonna go to some overhead triceps, and I like to just go with one dumbbell on this. Um, but if you've got really light weight, you can do two. We're gonna get that weight overhead, elbows forward, drop the weight behind her head, pressing up. Slight bend in the knees, belly button into the spine. Those weights were going to the floor. 
All right, we're gonna go to a skull crusher. So we'll just keep our feet flat on the floor, arms are raised, back is pressed into the mat. We're gonna bend the elbows and drop those weights. Make sure you don't move the shoulders, lock those shoulders in place, here we go. exercises so I'm gonna go on a wide grip bicep curl and I'm just gonna do one arm at a time okay so I've got my elbow into the side but my arms pointing right out here we go lift it we push it right on through good exhale inhale down work it slow on the way down let gravity help make this more challenging for you Building muscles and strengthen those arms. Oh, how was that one for you? Oh man. Okay, we gotta do the other side. So roll that shoulder back and down, belly in, turn your wrist out. We've got three. Two and lift. Nice job. Keep breathing for me. Keep that chest lifted up towards the ceiling.
jog. We're gonna do some speed bag with the arms. So whether you're keeping those legs down, or if you wanna add more, you'll jack them in and out. So working those arms. Ready? Here we go. Jar your knees, you're only rotating through the belly, right through the center. Four, three, two, reach the arm. Active stretch to start. Three, two, one, bring one arm across the chest. Nice work, other side. Okay, let's take those hands interlace and then I want you to rotate your hands out. We're going to push forward, arch through that upper back, drop our tailbone, pull our belly button in, really ground up that spine. Inhale it up, exhale, hinge up the hips all the way down. And you can come here, it doesn't matter where your hands are. If you're a little tight in the legs, go ahead and bend your knees and drop your head. all the way up. Exhale down. We're going to take one leg forward, one leg back, come into a high lunge. If that's uncomfortable for you, go ahead, drop down, knee to the floor. Stretch out those hips. The cardio we just did. Okay, bring your hands to the center. Turn your toes in, heels out. Tailbone up towards the Drop it down. Now, be gone. Oh, you and 
and then walk your hands over to the other side, coming into that high lunge. Hips down, heel to the back. So you're pushing through the heel. That's gonna get a little deeper in that hip flexor. If you're tight through the hips, this is a really good one for you. Keep that tummy in. Good, bend that knee, step it up. Shake out those legs. If you've got a wall or a chair nearby, you can go ahead and grab on. We're gonna stretch out our quad. Grab onto your foot, pull the knee in, hip forward. Squeeze your glutes, tailbone down. If you wanna work your balance, take your hand off the wall or chair. Let's do the other side. Good. 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 Dropping our tailbone down, we're gonna hinge our hips back, and we're gonna come on down, place our elbows in between our thighs, and press those knees open, drop your tailbone down. If this is uncomfortable for you, head down to the floor, and just bring your heels together, and you can open up the inner thighs in that position. So if this hurts your knees, don't do it, okay? Walk your feet in. I'm just going to push one hip out to the side. Reach the arm across the body. Oh, a nice big stretch for the side of the body. Inhale it up. Other side. Hip goes out. So we're shifting that weight. Arm up and across. Really want to stretch out the lats here. You can reach the arm forward. And up. Let's take one hand. Pull down, let's stretch out those biceps and forearms. Good, other side. And shake it out. Nice work, guys. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Again, if you're doing the fitness challenge, that's 30 points for you. Stay safe, guys. I'll see you on the next workout.